What's that I hear? It's Big T. It's got packages. Rutro. Hello, subscribers and fans. This is Torrance Davis of Love Bass Anglers, and today we're doing an untubing. So, what is an untubing? Well, every angler knows that an untubing is when you get new fishing rods. I've re upped my sponsorship with carrot sticks, and I got my new jeans for the season. <laughs> so, let's untube them and see what we got here. As you know, we haven't posted much videos lately because a couple weeks ago I lost the GoPro in the tree. We went through these little tunnels that connect three lakes. So the lake has a north, middle, and south lake. And they have all these little tunnels that connect the lakes. Well, we were so busy worrying about the rods not getting hit on the side of the tiny tunnels that when Bub said, grab the pole, grab the pole, grab the pole, I was first looking at fishing poles to see, make sure they're all in the boat. Wasn't concerned with the selfie stick behind me with the GoPro on it that was just about to fall in the drink. <laughs> so he says, grab the cord, grab the cord, and everything went slow motion. I turned around, oh, and I reached and I grabbed the USB cord because I couldn't grab the pole. And you know those USB cords, they don't go tight inside the GoPro, so when I grabbed the cord, pulled it out of the GoPro, and it sunk in. Not a big deal, you might think. You might be thinking, but it's three about three feet of water up to the tunnel. And when you go inside the tunnel, it's pitch black, and it drops down about seven feet. So we spent about what, 30 minutes, 40 minutes trying to get it back. At least. Dredging an anchor through the tunnel, we couldn't get it. So I came back the following week with a high powered magnet. It even has an on switch, but it's not electric. You just turn it, and the magnet turns on, and you turn it, turn it off. We hooked it up to a rope. We went back there, dropped it, dredged it through the tunnel. We caught lots of leaves and trees and branches. I think there was an old rod down there and some line, but the, uh, the selfie stick was aluminum, so the magnet couldn't pick it up. And I just wanted to get the memory card because that day I had six fish. I was on fire. That was a show. There's a whole show in that lake. But you got use out of it, and it won't cost you $400 to replace it. So. Yes, it will. That's how much they cost. Oh, I thought you said it was 200 now. You got it. That's, that's, that model's three generations old. Did it come on, Ed? No, you're sending 24 volts to it. It's 12 yeah, volt light. That light does it all. Oh, okay. Is it on? Nope. All right, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. What'd you do wrong? Polarity? There's a dead fuse in here. I'm gonna beat this. Oh, it wasn't all the way in. Oh yeah, I might have done. I don't know what I was just holding on what. But... Now? Oh, yeah, it's on. Right. Uh, this is... Hold on. Hold on. I can't drive and hold it. Yeah, screw it down. Yeah. This is Bob Bass Anglers. As you can see, we're at Lake Petituit, and it's three three different lakes joined by these little tunnels. <laughs> and we forgot that we had the GoPro. We got some kayakers coming, so yeah, back, up. back up. We forgot we had the GoPro uh, in the back of the boat, and the whole rig fell in the water. And now we're trying. Try to straight back. We're trying to receive uh, retrieve it. Um, yeah, I just want the memory card. All right, we got the light in the front of the boat, so we're going to, um, it's really deep. It's a little over six feet, and because it's in the tunnel, we can't see below. And the camera is on, an ex like, a, a selfie stick. So we're going to drag this anchor at the bottom and try to pull it up. 
I just want the memory card. Well, let's see if Ed can see it. If he can see it, you can yeah. see the device or where you can yeah. push it up. I couldn't get the GoPro. If I could have got I'm still tempted to go back there with a snorkel and some goggles and get it just so I can post this show, but I might as well give it up. So now I'm in the market for a new GoPro, and that's why we haven't posted any fishing shows lately. But look, we got another tubing now. Let's see what we got from Karen Sticks. As some of you might know out there, if you're on Team Orange, when you're sponsored by Carrot Sticks, or you're a pro team member, every year when you re-up, you get three rods. And you can pretty much choose the rods from a certain selection. So I decided to get a little crazy this year. And I get these suckers unboxed. Now if you don't know what's cool about carrot sticks, not only are they the best rod in the business, but when you buy a carrot stick, you get a little rod sleeve with it. How cool is that? Get all this off. Let's see what we got. Now, the reason why I re-up I love carrot sticks, I love their rods. I love them so much that I'm pretty much going to use 100% carrot stick rods from this point on. I absolutely love these rods. They're lightweight, they're fun to use, and I have a blast with them. I mean, they're super light. So let's get this first one. This first one is a Wild Wild Black Series. Not unlike the one I already have. This is a bait caster. And if you can see it on camera, this thing is pretty thick. This is what we call a broomstick. A broomstick is our name for a flipping stick. This is a wild, wild black, seven foot six, extra, extra heavy, fast action rod. You throw a bait caster on there, some heavy line, and you can flip in those mats like crazy with this. It is a broomstick, and that's why we call it the broomstick. And as you can see here, I'm gonna try and balance it out and hold it on one finger. It's not too hard. It's, it's just a beautiful rod they make. And this is the Wild Wild Black series. Me and Ed both have uh, flipping sticks. I have one just like this. This is going to be Bub's first flipping stick. Yes! So he's going to get this one. We're going to tear it up this fall. Okay, so that's one. Next one. Here's where I got a little crazy. A while ago, I was in Walmart and I saw this Shakespeare, I think it was a Shakespeare, ultralight combo. It was an all metal reel, like a 1000 series. See how light these rods are? The wind blows. All metal reel, and it was a uh, Oh, this actually is good. I'm, tell I'm telling the story before I'm opening the rod. I'll change the story up real quick. I have a bait caster right now. My bait caster is a heavy rod, but I'm using it for crankbaits, and I really needed a moderate rod for crankbaits. So this is a Wild Wild Black, and this is a medium, moderate, fast action, so moderate, fast, casting rod, and it's six foot seven. Perfect for cranking. So I'm just gonna take my Abu Garcia reel off of my heavy, put it on this baby, and this will be my crankbait stick. Okay? So, back to the other story I was telling. So I bought this little combo at Wally for $19. $19! I got an all metal 
spinning reel. I think it was by Shakespeare. And I got a micro series rod. The micro rod is an ultralight. I've used it to catch dinks. And I had a lot of fun with it. And I'm like, you know what? I like ultralight rods. So I decided to get a carrot stick ultralight. And I'm just going to take that little teeny reel, at least for now, and put it on this ultralight bag. Ultralight is obviously great for pan fishing, trout fishing, especially if you're fishing in streams. Or if you really want a challenge, try looking at mean small with one of these things. So this, this is a six foot seven ultralight fast action spinning rod. Look at this beauty. Probably the lightest rod I have in my collection, next to the micro. Perfect length. I mean, it's light as a feather. This whole package was only three pounds. If you haven't used carrot sticks yet, I recommend you go to your nearest Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop. And just put one in your hand just to feel what it's like. Actually, I don't, I don't even think, I'm not sure if uh, Bass Pro has carrot sticks, it's just Cabela's. Didn't we see him at Cabela's? Nope. Are you sure? Positive. So. Tackle Warehouse, that's it. Yeah, you, yeah, Tackle Warehouse. Or your nearest fishing expo. There you go. During the uh, retail therapy phase of the year when we can't fish because it's too much ice. You usually see them at uh, expos. And uh, they have booths where you can come and test out their rods and buy them. They usually have a deal where you can get two rods for $100, which is pretty good. So here's the ultralight. So that's the three rods from the untubing. We're actually going to hook these up so we can use them before the season's over. Today, I think today's the last day of August, right? Or is it tomorrow? Nope. Today. Oh, it's today. So today's the last day of August. Tomorrow's September. The fall bass fishing patterns are upon us. We will be at Charles River this weekend. I'll try to get some footage for you, but I can't guarantee anything. But for now, I hope you enjoy this video. This is Torrance Davis, AKA Big T with Bubba Bass Anglers. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.